I am sure you must have visited lot of food courts which are packed with customers and you see lot of restaurants which are serving them food. You have the fast foods, you have the local cuisines, you have the pizza shops, you have the small vendors. All are serving customers and there is a huge load of customers who are sitting there and having food. Would you like to know how to create a food court for yourself? Would you like to know how to build a self-sustaining food court? If yes, then this video is for you. Stay till the end and today I am going to decode how to create and build a successful profitable food court on Indian highways for yourself. My name is Gopal Kamat. I am a restauranter, a hotelier and the founder of Get Your Restaurant where we teach you how to start a successful food business, any kind of food business it might be and create a profitable, sustainable business for yourself and elevate your lifestyle. So if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to this channel if you really love food industry and you want to start a food business of your own. Uh, make sure that uh, you press the bell icon so that whenever we come up with a new video, uh, we could share that with you. So today, without any further ado, today's topic of discussion is the ultimate guide of starting a food court on the Indian highways. This is part one where I'm going to talk to you about the basics and in part two, I'm going to actually plan a food court for you and show you how you can actually create a food court for yourself. Now, the first and foremost thing which I want you to know is I'm going to talk about the advantages of the food court. So now, basic advantages of the food court are you don't have to run a restaurant yourself. A lot of people want to own a restaurant, but they don't want the headaches of owning a restaurant. You know what I mean? So if you don't want to take care of the staff turnover, if you don't want to take care of the frequently ups and downs in business, if you don't want to take care of the headache of, you know, getting all this stuff from the vendors and, you know, overseeing and operating a restaurant, a food court is the best option for you where you can own multiple restaurants, earn from them without even operating or without even micromanaging a single restaurant. So it is kind of like not a restaurant owner, but kind of like a landlord who is having multiple restaurants under him and they are paying uh, the landlord a particular kind of rent. So these are the advantages. You don't have the headache of operating the head, all the headaches which are related to actually starting and operating the restaurants. You don't have them. And now the disadvantages, which is the second point is Although you don't have the headaches of owning, uh, uh, of operating a restaurant, you still are a landlord. So the biggest disadvantage or I would say a pro, uh, not a pro point is that your investment in a food court is comparatively pretty high than if you invest in any restaurant. So if you have your own land, which is highway touch, which has got access to both the sides, and if you have a beautiful piece of the property, you can invest in the property and create a food court of yourself for yourself where you can uh, where you can give this sublet this to all the different brands and earn revenue or rent from them so the first disadvantage is that you uh, have to invest more the second disadvantage is you have to keep on finding tenants if you know a particular tenant is leaving so that becomes kind of like a full-time job for a person and for that you have to keep a team and you have to pay them so that you know they can reach uh, different uh, vendors and they can give the, uh, sublet their place on rent for these brands. So this is actually a continuous activity because let's say you have five or seven uh, outlets and one or two of them close. So then they will leave the place. So you will have to get new outlets so that you can get rent. Otherwise, it's a loss for you. So that is the second uh, uh, second uh, disadvantage for you. But overall, uh, opening a food court is a good decision. The third biggest disadvantage is that you might have a competition as far as a food court is concerned. Nowadays, you can see there are a lot of food courts opening and there is a competition between two food courts. In fact, if there are two food courts and one of them is doing well, the vendors from this food court might leave your place and they can go there and they can start there because there, the traffic there is far more than what it is for you. So I'm going to talk about how you can increase the traffic in a food court, but this is the disadvantage. Now, third is plot requirement. You need to have a pretty big plot at least somewhere around an acre or so, acre to two acres to three acres, which is somewhere around uh, uh, 40,000 square feet to around a lakh square feet. You need to have ample parking space, which I'm going to talk later and all the other requirements. You need to go for a non-agriculture of the land. You have to NA the land. 
there is a cost involving annoying the land and then annoying uh, is a word which i have just uh, created <laughs> and then you you have to get uh, electricity uh, you have to get water there you need to have water electricity so that you know the restaurant restaurants whom you are going to sublet your uh, food court or the places food courts are basically small small places in a big structure which you create and you sublet these small places to uh, the small galas uh, to the brands so whatever is required in order to run a restaurant you have to you have to give them you have to, they need to have uninterrupted water they need to have electricity at least uh, most of the time and all the and the place has to be very very accessible it has to be highway touch yeah so these are the requirements for the plot fourth is licensing whatever are the licenses which are required for uh, uh, operating a food court you need to get along with the uh, licenses which are required for operating a restaurant i have done a detailed video on licensing which you can check out in in this channel on this channel fifth is management even though you have sublet your food court galas to all the brands you still need to manage the place make sure that there are no uh, um, there are no obstacles for these brands to operate on a day to day basis you know local uh, local resistance or you know uh, any other issues which might happen so you need to it's not that you just give it on rent and you just forget about it you need to be but the uh, level and the complexity of the management is pretty less compared to running a restaurant that is the fifth point sixth is visibility branding and visibility of your food court is one thing which you have to focus a lot because on a highway on an average a car drives at a speed of 80 kilometers upwards so your visibility is very important and you have to invest in signages boards holdings and everything so that more cars can stop at your place and they can really uh, help uh, they can really make uh, they can really stop and have what they want so that the vendors are taken care of your vendors means the brands uh, whom you are going to let out your place they are doing enough business so that they can afford your rent and they still they can make a little bit of profit so visibility is very important seventh is parking i would say that parking the cars uh, you need to spend a little bit on creating a very smooth and proper surface for parking you can put paver blocks concrete paver blocks you can do rcc of the whole uh, reinforced cement concrete layering of the whole uh, place but parking is very important because nowadays the people uh, people who are traveling are driving very expensive cars and they are very very uh, conscious as well as sensitive about what, where they take their car so if you don't have a good parking a lot of cars might not even enter your uh, parking place so make sure that you have a plain even very nice parking space where people can stop if you can give other facilities on your food court apart from the food like if you have a um, uh, a car wash service or if you have something which is far more helpful for the parking people like all the other shops where they can shop a little bit that adds a little bit of facilities to your uh, particular food court because then the car has an, an other reasons to enter your uh, other reasons to enter your uh, food court apart from parking you need to have clean toilets which are well managed and well maintained which i have not put in this but you need to have clean toilets and that also helps a lot to attract a lot of customers in your food court eighth is vendor facility so uh, in these facilities you have to give them clean toilets which are big clean and fresh secondly uh, you need to you need to have shops for them uh, additional shops which can serve them different things and most importantly for the vendor facilities you need to have water as well as electricity which are the basic and uh, i think one of the more uh, underestimated point is regular removal of garbage from your food court this is very very important because that also adds up to your that also adds up to your experience of the brands when they are coming and they are working in your food court. Ninth is frequent maintenance. Maintenance of the common maintenance areas if the tile is broken because you will have a huge footfall, a lot of people coming in and out. So there will be a lot of breakages, a tile might break, a edge might break. So you have to take care that everything is maintained. Don't just make it at once and just leave it like that so, uh, because your property will have a little bit of wear and tear. So you need to make sure that it looks as fresh as possible as clean as possible so that the customers who are coming to your food court to have food in your in your uh, tenant brands should feel and have a nice and good experience yeah then and the final is once your food court is done and within one or two years once you uh, create a good and sustainable rental income out of the food court and you are you are tying it up with whatever capex 
capital expenditure you have uh, you have involved in that particular plot you can scale the same brand by taking the name as well as the same system to yet another place where you find which has the potential of having a good food court there so ideally instead of scaling your restaurants you can scale this food court and that is how you standardize your brand your logo your design and everything and you improvise on it on the second food court third food court and that is how you can have a chain of food courts and uh, earn the rental income along with the other incomes which you have and make a lot of money and create a sustainable business for yourself. I hope uh, you like this video. If you really love this, uh, subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends and family and please ask me questions. By the way, this topic which uh, I am covering today is a question from a subscriber. So if you have any questions related to the food industry, anything it might be, just comment in, the, uh, go in the comment section and type out your question. I read each and every question and I reply to each and every one. And secondly, if you really want to learn how to set up your own food business and you want to be successful and profitable at it, check out my coaching program by going to www.gopalkamat.in. The link is given in the description section also under uh, in this video. Just click on the link. It's a paid program where I take you step by step on a video course. I have created a video course which you can go step by step and understand how to start your food business, any kind of food business it might be. And along with the video course, I come each week live and I sit with you and I, let me get this out. And I uh, I come each week live on Tuesdays in the evening at 6 o'clock on a Zoom call for my RLF coaching program members, for my uh, coaching program members. And I talk to you and I solve all your questions. So this is a lifetime access for your course as well as for my uh, uh, live masterminds or for my live sessions each week. So if it really suits you, just go to www.gopalkamat.in and join and we will talk face to face and uh, keep watching my videos. Ask me a lot of questions, subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends and family and look out for the part two of this video where I am going to talk about how you have to design a food court on an Indian highway. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.